Hey fellow Criterion fans, um, as a film critic I get early releases of Criterion titles uh, for review before they hit the shelves and um, I thought it would be an interesting service to uh, every once in a while uh, show you the packaging of the uh, Criterion releases before they come out because for a lot of the Criterion fans um, the, the packaging and the, what goes in it um, you know, are important. So uh, the two releases I got uh, that's going to be coming out later in October are Boyhood and Shortcuts. And um, Robert Altman's Shortcuts uh, is basically, the Blu-ray version is kind of a direct port of the DVD, complete with the, um, the, the cover is basically the same. And I, I used to own this on DVD when it first came out in I think 2004 and I think the um, the booklet is pretty much the same the essay from Michael Wilmington you can see it here so basically uh, I checked out the discs a little bit and basically what you're getting is a brand new transfer that looks gorgeous um, and I think all of the extras from the DVD release without anything new so you're basically just getting um, a Blu-ray upgrade, an HD upgrade of shortcuts, which is great, uh, but don't really expect that much more if you already own the, the DVD version. The extras in it are encoded in HD, but um, the feature-length documentary that covers the making of the film um, was shot on standard definition video anyway, so that's not going to look that much different, but a great HD um, upgrade. The packaging itself is the uh, the regular um, plastic uh, Criterion packaging, so nothing that much special there. The um, inside, you get two discs. Um, basically, it's Blu-ray, but you know the film is all over three hours long, so it makes sense that the um, just like the DVD, the extras are on the second disc, and the inside has some nice pictures of the cast. You can see. So not much of a difference there, but the biggest, um, most interesting release, one of the most interesting releases, because I didn't get the Pan's Labyrinth or the um, Guillermo del Toro trilogy um, yet, hopefully I'll get those soon, but um, you also get Boyhood, which um, I really love this uh, new cover. I think it uh, does a better job of communicating the themes um, of the film. Uh, than the, uh, the 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 poster that was on the uh, the regular Blu-ray release, and uh, this also comes in the standard plastic uh, Criterion packaging. Uh, it comes in two discs again because the feature itself is almost three hours long, and the second disc is the you know the the transfer is not that much different than the regular Blu-ray trans transfer that we got. It looks better as much as I could see just by quickly comparing them but the best thing is of course the, the second uh, Blu-ray has a, a making of documentary with footage from the shoot uh, over 12 years uh, that lasts almost an hour and an hour long um, conversation uh, between uh, Richard Linklater and the cast and a bunch of other interviews so there's a lot of great stuff in this and uh, it also comes with a booklet with a fairly long essay. Let's see here. It comes with an essay by Jonathan Latham. Um, and it has some nice pictures of the production. And of course, at the end, you have the information about the transfer. And finally, if you take out all the discs, you get a nice little insert here. And the back doesn't really have a lot. It's just the regular, just the description and the, the information about the extras. So that's about it for now. And uh, as I get more Criterion stuff, I'll try to show them to you as well. Bye.